me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out How's it going lads, Marshall here and welcome to another Inform Analysis. Today we are reviewing Man of the Match, Emmanuel Adebayo. Now he's costing 60k on the Xbox 360 at the minute, 68 on the PlayStation 3. He's got 4 star skills and a 3 star a week. But now his card stats aren't the best in the world. He's got 74 pace, which is very slow for any striker. 80 shooting, which is brilliant. Heading 84, which you'd expect with a big man like Emmanuel Adebayo. Now, he's finishing his 90. He's just such a goal scorer on this game. Honestly, he's got so many goals in this squad of informed man the match and team of the season players. And if you want to check out any of them, by the way, be sure to visit the panel for early access to all of their reviews. That's obviously before I make them public. Now, his work rates are medium to low, which are fantastic work rates. I love those work rates on this game. He's very slow, like you see his sprint speed and his acceleration. His agility is not the best and his balance is only 53. But I put that as a good point because it really doesn't feel like 53. He keeps his balance all the time. He's good on the ball. He rides challenges for fun. He's just an all-round great striker. You've seen him here just holding off that player before putting it in the bottom corner. 90th minute winner in the first game for Emmanuel Adebayo. Cracking little strike on his weaker foot into the bottom corner. Now we've got his good points as finishing, heading, ball control, strength and balance. And I think they're all fair points and they will all be put on display in these goals. His bad points are his price, his passing and his pace, which again are all on display. His price is quite high for any player on this game. His passing is very poor, that's why he doesn't link up with any other players. And he's kind of a lone striker, he's a bit of a loner on this game. I'm not going to say he's lazy or anything, but he does run into good gaps. He doesn't link up with any other players on this game. He just kind of does his own thing but that is great because when he does his own thing he scores goals and that's what you want you want a striker scoring goals it's pointless getting a striker that's crap in front of goal just look at this for a header it's perfect completely perfect he was unlucky with the kind of scissor kick that hit the crossbar but then the chip header afterwards was unbelievable he causes a fuss in the box which here from cle 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 cleverly even i don't know why i got cleverly mixed up with bloody something i don't know what i was gonna say but anyways we crack on with adebayo who is much easier to say for me for some reason which um just goes against all logic of the English language. But anyway, Sigurdsson, he puts it in the box. And how about that finish from Adebayo? He got very lucky. The keeper parried it on to the post. Now, you might have seen that goal before. It's simply because I'm playing all of these games with the same team. Like I said at the start from the panel, a mixture of inform man of the matches like Adebayo himself and team of the season. And I've said it time and time again. If you want to go check out their reviews, visit the link in the description below to the panel and you'll be able to crack on and watch watch all of their videos and that will be it from this one Adebayo is a cracking striker I give him a 4 out of 5 star rating go buy him if you can like the video if you enjoyed and I'll see you all later